everyone. This is Leadbetter 17P. We have an e-juice review for you guys today from Velvet Vapors. Uh, they are based out of Tucson, Arizona, and their website is velvetvapors.com. Link will be in the description below. It says they've uh, been around since 2010. Gourmet vaping liquids, hand mix, USA made. Custom e-liquid, including all natural and USDA certified organic choices. Uh, E-cigarette hardware kits and accessories. So that's their business card. Not sure how well you can see it. Camera doesn't like to focus, but they have nice business cards. So today we're going to be reviewing another one of their flavors called Melon Smoothie. Uh, we're going to talk about their bottle packaging first. Uh, bottle packaging, you have a child safety cap, which is very nice. Nice dripper tip on the bottle. Uh, this is a six milligram liquid. Uh, it does have the ingredients on the back along in the small print down here at the bottom. It has the uh, caution uh, stuff like keep out of reach of children and, and so forth. So, uh, and their bottle, it's not really an easy squeeze bottle. This one's a little bit easier to squeeze than the other ones, probably because I've been using this one a little bit already. But uh, it's still nice. They have really nice labels. So 10 out of 10 on their bottle packaging. As always, like in the other two videos, 10 out of 10. Uh, we already have this one loaded up in a Black Patriot. I am running a 0. Point, hold on, move my chair out a little bit. We're running a 0. 0.24 ohm quad coil build in this one. I'll go ahead and pop the top off so you can see. There is my quad coil with regular cotton. Uh, that's all wicked up, ready to go. And we have it on a Copper Panzer clone. So I'll go ahead and give this a vape. We'll talk about vapor production first and then flavor. So here goes vapor production. Ah, not bad on vapor production. It's a different flavor too, so... Bear with me. Uh, it's a little harsh on my throat because I'm not used to it. But uh, vapor production is very good. Uh, obviously, it's most likely my build that's helping me get a ton of vapor. Uh, in a tank, you're not gonna probably you're probably not gonna get as much in a tank, but you're still gonna get tons of flavor. But um, I give the vapor production a 10 out of 10 as well for my build. Uh, flavor. Before I even take another. Another try of it here. I'll uh, let you know what I think about the flavor as is. Uh, it's an okay flavor. It's a very strong melon flavor. This one is actually very strong. Uh, the uh, says melon smoothie. Like I don't get. I'm not sure what types of melon are supposed to be in it. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch uh, since it says melon smoothie, but uh, it's not bad. It's not an all day vape for me. But we'll give it one more go here. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, if you're not used to melon flavors or really fruity, fruity flavors, it can be a little harsh for you. Uh, I need to grab a drink real quick. Ah, better. Better. Uh, flavor for this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, straight up. Uh, it's my honest opinion. It's not something I'd vape every day. Uh, I like it better in a tank. I have tried it in the, um, what is it, the Kanger Aero tank. I've tried it in that, and I've also tried it in the iClear 30 tanks. Uh, it is better in a tank, in my opinion, than in a dripper. Uh, it's not as harsh in a dripper. or Not, not as harsh in a... A tank, I should say, not a dripper. Uh, to me, it's a little bit more harsh in a dripper, but it's still pretty decent. It's not a bad juice. Uh, if you like melons, it's for you. Uh, it's just not an all-day vape for me. It's not sweet enough. But my honest opinion, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 on flavor, a 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging, and a 10 out of 10 on vapor production uh, based on my build. So, hope you guys like that that is melon smoothie from velvetvapors.com check them out link will be in the description for their website below 
and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so don't forget to click the like button for the video if you like what you see. Uh, we'll have some more e-juice reviews coming up for you. We have a couple more from these guys. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, don't forget to comment. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. So once again, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.